Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. For this video, I've made my way out onto Jersey's north coast and I'm gonna be looking to target some bass, wrasse and mackerel uh, on the laws today. I've uh, bought out a load of mixture of laws. I've even got a big rod behind me there with uh, a set of feathers and some sabikis at hand. So this morning, I'm literally just popping out to see if I can catch a couple of fish on the laws. Um, if it's quiet, I've got the option of uh, just doing a little bit of feathering for mackerel. Yeah, it's a, a nice morning. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually paddling against the tide. Um, I'm leaving here when it's a uh, flooding tide, so I'm heading west and the uh, tide's heading east. So it's going to be a little bit of a bummer, but that's just the way it is, I guess. So guys, there's loads of little heads and gullies in here, which should fish well, and they're slightly out the tide a little bit. So. I'm going to try a uh, top water in and around here. I've actually, believe it or not, not done this before around here, so I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go, but this looks a little bit similar to the uh, little bays that I fished around the corner there. So nice in here. It looks quite tucked in, a little bit snaggy, but bouldery. So it looks ideal for uh, a couple of chucks of a uh, top water in here. The tide's running out here, so if I tuck myself right in, I should be okay. So guys, gonna be using the uh, Exorus Frosty this morning as my uh, primary top water. Uh, especially in here, looks like it's gonna be ideal. So gonna go with that. It's basically a skinny Pachinko, or a skinny Pachinko 125, shall I say. Um, and it does a nice little subtle walk at the dog action. And it's usually quite effective for the bass. So let's see how we get on. This is a little bit new to me, this area, guys, so it's just trying to work it out a bit. Looks like it's going to have a fish around here, though. Oh, there we go. There's a hit already. That's a good sign. <laughs> Just keep lobbing in that direction, I think. There we go, fish on guys. Must have been like third cast in that. Don't know if this is a good one or not. Doesn't feel too bad. Well, it's coming in fairly easily. But I will take anything straight away as a quick blank saver. No, it's not a big bass. Come on, matey. There we go, guys. First fish of the trip. And these aren't barbless hooks, these ones, because I lobbed them on yesterday and I forgot to crush the barb. So, got to go extra cautiously at sorting this out. Got my forceps ready to rock. Oh, he's gone back, guys. Oh, well, that was the plan anyway, getting back as soon as I can. Unfortunately, no picture but he wasn't really that big so we're gonna keep pressing on in this bay have a couple more chucks oh my god come on I'm just twitching I'm hardly reeling there we go whoa right next to the kayak Hey, oh, that looks a little bit better. Not much better. Right next to the kayak, that guy's. Hoo -hoo. 
Oh, this one's a little bit better than the first. He might be net worthy, but I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Well, that's not a bad fish, actually. That's a nice um, eating size one, that. But it's going to go back. Right, let's try and get this one up for you guys to have a look at. Only a couple of casts in and uh, nailing some bass here. So that's the frosty I'm using guys, like I say, a slim pachinko. Um, it's got a different um, sort of rattle system in it. It's a little bit more high pitched. Um, so whether that makes any difference, I'm not too sure. But if you want to check these out guys, they're on sale at Mr. Fish. Um, loads of different colors and stuff like that. So I'll put a link in the description um, so that you guys can check them out. There you go guys, that's the one I just had on the uh, top water. Slightly better fish than the first one, hopefully there's one double the size of this out today, so yeah. Couple of casts, couple of bass, so let's keep going. Off he goes. Just gonna reverse up a bit more guys. That reef there looks like a good cast, just the back of that. Oh, wow. Got hit right at the back of that reef, guys. Oh, got to stop the motor there. I don't think this is, a, oh, I was just about to say, I don't think this is a big fish. He's just come off. Oh, they must be sat on the back of that reef as this swell's coming in, rolling swell is coming in. They're just ambushing anything that's getting washed in. the quarry guys and it looks a little bit fishy on this corner so I'm gonna try with a uh, Savage Gear sand eel. It's really swelly here guys so I'm just gonna try and get out the swell quickly and then I'll turn around and have a couple of chucks doing like a sink and draw method with the softy. the uh, 31 gram Savage Gear Sand Eel V2. Nice pearl Savage Gear. Quite deep in the water here. Nice bit of white water bashing around everywhere. Pretty bassy. We're in. Hey. 
I've hooked a bass on the uh, softy, just doing a sink and draw in this quarry bay. Not a huge fish, but chuffed with that on the uh, Savage Gear Sand Eel V2. Nice little bass. Looks pretty fishy in here, guys. Get it right in there, in the mixer. In the mixer. There's got to be bass in there, surely. Right in the mixer. As long as I stay in this area here, I should be all right. Whoa, choppy, choppy, choppy. I put on the uh, king of top water, the Pachinko 140. It's time to go big or go home, I think. So yeah, gonna give this a go in here and then um, just switch between using this and a big Savage Gear sand deal. can't help myself guys I'm having to have a couple more chucks on the top water back at this beach it just looks too good oh there's a splash whoa 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 that feels half decent maybe not gave a good run oh it might be a good one might be all right this Oh, it's not too bad. It's not huge, but... No, it's not a big one. <laughs> I think I had my drag quite loose, guys. Let's get you on board, mate. I thought he was much bigger than that. Jeez, the take he gave. Not a big one guys, but happy with that on the top water. Shinko 140 doing the damage in this uh, slightly choppier bay here. So guys, I found a nice little bit of tide here. I'm chucking out the frosty, but I think it's not enough. I might need to go Pachinko 140. It's a little bit of a ripple on the top. 
there's a few gars around quite a few garfish chasing this lure in so that's a good sign if there's some gars there should be some bass really shallow here got a couple of reefs just to the side of me here I'm literally just bringing the law over them in this tide it's just rushing over them kind of hoping that a bass swims over the uh, over the top of the heads and uh, sees the top water law might be worth just banging on this metal getting out here was no problem considering I had to cross the tide I just went in uh, fairly uh, shallow fairly close in shore and uh, there wasn't much tide against me but now I found this spot here there's a few heads there you can see some white water there I'm just sat on the edge of it casting this little metal whoa there's a fish whoa that's not a garfish oh that's on the vibe guys whoa what is this it's got to be a bass surely oh that's on the vibe just casting into that tide yeah it is a bass there must be a few coming over that that shelf Oh, it's going to be worth staying here for a little bit oh if i can get this one in there we go guys trekked across the bay to get this the other side of the bay was not fishing well at all so i thought i'll come down here i know there's a couple of reefs i didn't think they'd be uh fishing this well though straight away only a little one on that little uh vibe didn't half go well in that tide though it's a nice little bit of rip here just got to keep my wits about me because uh, there's a couple of reefs as well that are fairly shallow i'm gonna stay here for a bit and just see how it fishes but first chuck with the metal first fish it's weird it's like a, a whirlpool in here it's meant to be going that way but it's pushing me Every which, which way. Just take that. Give that a go again. It's absolutely peeing through here, but behind this behind this head I've got a bit of shelter. Might just knock one right up to the right side of it. Let that come through. got to be more fish here I think it's about to get a little bit bumpy coming through here I might go inshore a bit a little bit bumpy well guys that's me heading back in now i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that would be much appreciated until the next video until the next trip out on the kayak tight lines safe paddling and i'll catch you in the next video